scared him in the dog. Hi guys. It is your lucky night. You get a bonus. You get a bonus doom scrolling uh, <coughs> rant from my full rant from about an hour ago that I just posted. So I went in there and said at the beginning of that uh, that rant I was talking about how you know I, I, I'm so shocked at how uh, how much time and effort my fellow doomers on YouTube you know put into their videos when I pretty much sit down uh, in the chair and uh, open up the computer and just start doom scrolling for five minutes. Well, I covered, but, but now I see why I should have spent six minutes because I think I covered, what was it, five stories in that rant, and one of them, I guess there's several versions on there. I think I ran with Gizmodo's story, but I got to say, guys, as that was, I was uploading that video here, what is it, Tuesday, October 24, 2023, and as it was uploading, I went back to my doom scrolling, and guys, history has been made right here on HuffPost. HuffPost, you know, I, I give HuffPost a lot of grief for, you know, catering to the limp dick lefties out there, the little lefty greenies uh, swallowing all of this bullshit about uh, green energy and, and all of that crap. But I got to say, guys, I, I have to give credit where credit's due. Uh, HuffPost and by proxy uh, Yahoo News, I, I am absolutely flabbergasted. We see the word overshoot appearing in the mainstream media. I do not think I have ever seen the word overshoot uh, showing up anywhere in the mainstream media. Now, of course, it showed up in the very last paragraph uh, of the article, but uh, you know, I'm going to give credit where credit's due. Uh, good for you, Huff Poston, for writing this story like this, and uh, for Yahoo News uh, for for featuring it. Uh, sounding, you know, pretty much, you know, there's a little bit of hopium we're going to talk about at, towards the end of this article, but uh, I mean, right here, straight ahead doomer porn from the limp dick lefties at HuffPost. Take it away. Time is up. Scientists warn Earth has entered uncharted climate territory. If Earth were a human, it would already be in the emergency room. Well, I, I, I might I might say the the cemetery, but anyway, you know, for the mainstream media, that's a pretty good headline. If Earth were a human, it would already be in the emergency room. An international team of scientists on Tuesday issued a new assessment of planetary health that says the world has entered, quote, uncharted climate territory and that life on planet Earth is under siege. The report published in the journal Bioscience found that 20 of 35 identified vital signs of the planet from human population, which was never mentioned in the, in the Gizmodo article, never mentioning. Uh, I I anyway, thank you. Uh, 20 of the 35 identified vital signs of the planet from human population and greenhouse gas emissions to sea level rise and ocean acidity have reached record 
extremes. Thank you for cause saying that human population has reached a record extreme. The analysis authored by a dozen expert scientists is as much a desperate warning as an urgent call for action. Quoting uh, the report, which I probably should have just gone directly to the report. <clears throat> Quote, for several decades, scientists have consistently warned of a future marked by extreme climatic conditions because of escalating global temperatures caused by ongoing human activities, ongoing human activities that release harmful greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Unfortunately, time is up. I never see the words window of opportunity rapidly closing. Uh, I, I really wish to hell they had, instead of saying time is up, they, they had said that goddamn window of opportunity has slammed shut. Anyway, we're, we're getting uh, about as close as we can to that. Back to the report. Time is up. We are seeing the manifestation of those predictions as an alarming an unprecedented succession of climate records are, broken, are broken, causing profoundly distressing scenes of suffering to unfold. We are entering an unfamiliar domain regarding our climate crisis, a situation no one has ever witnessed firsthand in the History of Humanity, close quote. Book Hermit, I'm sure you are already uh, gunning for your ignorant comment. <clears throat> this year has truly been one of extremes. Unprecedented heat waves, unless you live in the Finger Lakes of New York, record-shattering land and sea surface temperatures, record low Antarctic sea ice extent, and a Canadian wildfire season that has so far torched over 45 million acres, more than two and a half times the previous record. Tuesday's, meaning today, Tuesday's stunning unfiltered assessment comes as many scientists are still trying to make sense of the climate anomalies, anomalies documented in recent months. Quoting the report, the truth is that we are shocked by the ferocity of the extreme weather events in 2023. We are afraid of the uncharted territory that we have now entered, close quote. <clears throat> the changes have been so rapid that they have, quote, surprised scientists, you know, again, surprised scientists. Uh, I, I've, been, I've been doing this shit for 15 years. Uh, I'm surprised that the only surprise I have is that it took this long but I'm not a scientist. I am a chronicler of the collapse of a planet. <clears throat> Quote, surprised scientists and caused concerns about the dangers of extreme weather, risky climate feedback loops, and the approach of damaging tipping points sooner than expected, close quote, the report states, and they occurred against a backdrop of what the authors describe as, quote, minimal progress by humanity in combating 
climate change, close quote. Human activity, primarily, human activity, primarily the world's addiction to fossil fuels, is the main driver of planetary warming and the extreme weather events causing devastation around the globe. Okay, once again, we all know what the primary human activity is, which is the main driver of planetary warming and everything else, and it is not the world's addiction to fossil fuels. <clears throat> anyway, despite a steady drumbeat, despite a steady drumbeat of warnings from the world scientific community, global carbon emissions are forecast to hit an all-time high in 2023. Huh. While well, in just a single year, from 2021 to 2022, global fossil fuel subsidies more than doubled from 531 billion in 2021 to over one trillion dollars in 2022, which the report's authors linked to rising energy cost stemming from Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Just think what a gallon of gas would cost without those subsidies. <clears throat> the paper warns that, quote, massive suffering due to climate change is already here, close quote, and highlights several deadly climate fuel disasters over the past year, including extreme heat waves in Asia. I'm sending that one out to you, anabolic afterbirth or whatever your name is. Uh, extreme heat waves in Asia where they're burning more coal than ever. Catastrophic wildfires on the Hawaiian island of Maui and devastating flooding in Libya. By the end of the century, between 3 billion and 6 billion people, as much as half of our planet's population, well, by the end of the century, okay, so by the year 2100, this is saying there will be somewhere between six and 12 billion people on the planet, we shall see. Anyway, as much as half of the planet's population could, quote, find themselves confined beyond the livable region, close quote, according to the analysis. Christopher Wolf, a lead author of the paper, said, quote, Without actions that address the root problem of humanity taking more from the earth than it can safely give, we are on our way to the potential collapse of natural and socioeconomic systems and a world with unbearable heat and shortages of food and fresh water, close quote. The report advocates for much more than minimizing planet warming greenhouse gases, calling specifically for reducing overconsumption of the world's resources, oh yeah, phasing out fossil fuel subsidies, increasing forest protection, shifting towards plant-based diets, and transforming the global economy to, quote, prioritize human well-being. Yes, 
and to provide for a more equitable distribution of resources, close quote. Additionally, I, okay, here we go, guys. Additionally, the report urges, urges humanity to, quote, stabilize and gradually decrease the human population with gender justice through voluntary family planning and supporting women's and girls' education and rights, which reduce fertility rates and raises the standard of living, close quote. Okay, guys, can we cut the crap uh, uh, about about this this crap uh, about educating girls. Uh, we'll we'll mention that uh, when we get to the comments. That this crap about educating girls, and it's all here, which reduces fertility rates and raises the standard of living. Which is another way of, of, uh, of saying cancels out the reduced fertility. The standard of living is another way is raising the rate of per capita consumption. So some, some clueless moron woman gets herself educated and instead of having six kids, you know, each eating a, uh, a four ounce piece of pie. She has two kids eating a 12 ounce piece of pie and her two kids are doing the same amount of damage as the six kids. This whole, this whole bullshit, you know, even Paul Ehrlich uh, it, it is still spouting uh, this bright green light. I, I'm all for uh, educating uh, women not to have kids. But anyway, it is the mainstream media. The recommendations go beyond the normal scope of climate science, but underscore how serious the researchers believe the crisis to be. The authors conclude, quote, rather, we're at the last paragraph of the story, rather than focusing only on carbon reduction and climate change, addressing the underlying issue of ecological overshoot will give us our best shot at surviving these challenges in the long run. This is our moment to make a profound difference for all life on earth, and we must embrace it with unwavering courage and determination to create a legacy of change that will stand the test of time. And obviously, uh, Humpty Dumpty uh, left a comment. Well, the first comment, this was the Humpty Dumpty's first attempt at leaving a comment. I am utterly shocked. The word overshoot appearing in the mainstream media, though in the final paragraph, the only thing we need to teach girls is to not let their knickers down. You can figure out what we need to teach boys. And uh, the comment was rejected as being offensive to the Yahoo community. So cute. So the Yahoo community told Humpty Dumpty Tribe that you used language that would be potentially offensive. P 
potentially offensive to readers. So, Humpty Dumpty went back and tried a second time. I am utterly shocked. The word overshoot appearing in the mainstream media, though in the final paragraph, the only thing we need to teach girls is to not let their panties down. You can figure out what we need to teach boys. So I guess knickers, uh, I guess knickers is, uh, is, is offensive to some members of the Yahoo community, but panties won't offend anybody. Uh, you know, panties, uh, how could those be offensive? But anyway, uh, I just wanted to uh, say thank you to good old HuffPost for spelling it out. The Doomers over at HuffPost, giving credit where credit is due while I still can. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.